Okay, guys, this is how I make my thumbnails. Go to panzo.com, go to background of three, then you go across to basics, choose YouTube thumbnail, go down to basics two, and choose upload image, and then put your default image as your background, and then you can fill it, tile it, whatever you want to do. I just fill it, and that fills it in like that. And then you can go back down to your text and images and you can add overlay images or text or whatever you want. And there is different fonts, different shadowing, different uh, all sorts of stuff. Like you can just go through it and you can have some fun. So that's how you make a basic thumbnail. I've had a few people asking me how you make the thumbnails and that's the most basic way of doing it. As you can see right now, let's just make it text image adjust it move it around change the size change the font sh change the shadowing um change the outlining on it you know change the coloring all right we'll do it like that we'll flip that 90 degrees and that way we get the top and bottom coloring and then and change the size it's probably a little bit too big no it's not too bad we can change all sorts of stuff on this guys like this, this site is also good for animations as well you can create animations if don't choose a background it choose the animations part and you can actually make animations as well um you know backload to it whatever color you want backload to be all that sort of stuff and yeah it's pretty basic it's very user friendly so with a bit of practice you guys can you know like download transparent images you can add the transparent images to it as well um you just create new text image when you want something um else to write as we're doing right here um they won't initiate until you actually click on a different font style so bear with me there we go click different font style there's a, there's a bunch of different fonts too guys there's like all sorts of stuff there's like blood runs and like cops type things and you know like right now i'm just showing you guys I'm, I'm i'm literally making the thumbnail for my next video um trying to make bang in the wildy or wieldy whatever you want to call it um and change colors and stuff like that and again flip the profile so that it's up and down rather than so there's vertical or horizontal rather than vertical i should say um, you can drag the color scheme across so that you can have it more dominant or not. You can also go down to your shadowing and add shadowing, black, white, whatever. It just sort of blends it into the picture a bit more. Um, makes it a little bit more, I don't know, like sometimes it makes it a little bit more deviant. It depends what sort of picture you're using. Sometimes you can make it, make like the text stands out like so like prominently, like in your face, evil sort of text it's like whoa let's go add a hashtag two in there to show that it's a second edition of a video and then we'll go down we'll change the color by changing the color all you do is like it's got a, a, a predetermined color so um all you do is click on the other side with a left click and it gives you a second color to choose and that gives you a gradient and we'll do that we'll make that green uh we'll spin that 45 degrees just for something to do and we'll enlarge it and get it a little bit bigger than that and, and yeah that's all right uh, make the green more prominent so it stands out just by sliding that color left and right and then we'll put some shade behind it so that it blends into the picture rather than just stands out from it and then we'll save it and then when you save it it goes to whatever file your downloads go to. You get this page. A lot of advertisers. You don't have to click any of the advertisements. You don't have to click any of the advertisements, guys. Don't worry about that. But you'll you'll get these advertisements, and you get a little thing down the bottom saying "save file," and then you just do this. It always sounds as it always saves as backgrounder. Um, so you just need to save it to your download file, and then. Uh, rename it whatever you like and then that's it it's done you've got yourself a thumbnail